Welcome to this video. I'm Nick. How's everybody doing? Hope you're hanging in there and doing okay. These are tough times for sure. But hey, a little sabotage and Chris Oliva guitar solo action should help the cause. And, um, you know, this is probably one of my favorite um, guitar players of all time, Chris Oliva. And anytime I get a chance to talk about him or sabotage, I will do so. I love it. This was actually a request from one of my subscribers to uh, to show you guys this solo. So I hope you enjoy it. We'll get to it in just a sec. I just want to mention my free sweet picking guide. You can check that out down below in the description. It's got all kinds of um, cool basic arpeggio shapes and how to sort of get going in uh, doing some basic sweep picking movements and sweep picking sequences. So how do you put, you know, little arpeggios together in combination to make cool sounding sequences like Yngwie does or someone like that. And so we kind of take it from um, kind of the basic shapes into the next step and even go into some seventh arpeggios, which are a little more colorful. Players like John Petrucci and Vinnie Moore will use those types of things. So it's uh, called Boot Camp, but it's not too terrifying. Make sure you check that out in the link below. Okay, let's get started. So this is in the key of D minor, saddest of all keys, but we're not going to be sad. This is um, kind of based around this chord progression, D, F, B flat, up to C. <laughs> You know, the beautiful thing about Chris Oliva's uh, lead guitar playing is it's just so emotional. And um, the phrasing is, is just cool. It's hard to replicate because he's got his, he has his own thing going on. And, um, but we're going to try. So we start out here on the uh, 13th fret on the B string. And by the way, I've got the tab also. It's my little handwritten tab. But you'll get all the notes that way. I put it also in the description below, so check that out. So what we're going to do is we're going to bend this up. So just uh, think about this as if you were in the 10th position D minor pentatonic area. You know, and we're going to start here. We're just going to bend 13 up a whole step, release it, pull off to 10 on the B, and then back to 13. Okay, so after quick, then we're gonna do a quick hammer pull on the B string 10, 13, 10, and then go right to the G string. So you just kind of dig into those bends. Uh, and that's bending up on the 12th fret on the G string, bend that up a whole step, release pull off to 10 and then back to 12 on the G. So, so far we have this. Okay, and then we're gonna go beautiful little move there. So we're bringing in notes from the natural minor scale. Basically that's where this uh, solo lives. We've got that B flat chord, so the flat six in the key of D is B flat, and so it kind of spells out the Aeolian mode. So this is right out of the D combination of D minor pentatonic and D Aeolian. So we have this, um, 
and that's 10, 12, 10, 12, 10 on the G, slide to 9, back to 10, and then 9, 10 again. And then we have this um, quick little move. So let's play it up to that point. Then we're going to do uh, that's uh, 9, 10, 9 on the G, 10 on the D. Then bar and roll your finger back to 10 on the G, and then back to 10 on the D. Next move is ninth fret on the G, uh, 10 on the D, back to 9 on the G, 10 on the G, 12 on the G, and then back to 10. So, okay, so those last two bits should sound like this. Uh, uh, let's see. That's it. All right. Uh, right there, we're going to go into a higher slide. But let's play it up to that point. Okay, right here, you're going to jump right up to the 15th fret and play a 15th on the high E and do this sliding thing. I like to use my ring finger because it's going to set me up for the next lick. So coming out of the previous lick, okay, so you're going to just slide up to 15, pick it, slide to 13, pick it, slide to 12, and then back up to 13. Okay. Now you're right in position here to start playing the next lick. Okay, and that's just right out of the D minor pentatonic scale. Playing 13, 10 on the high E. Uh, and then 13 on the B and then back to 10 on the high E. Do that four times. And we're gonna end with this. So that's three times on just 13 to 10 on the high E, and 13 on the B, and you end that lick there. Okay. Okay, so let's play it up to that point. And finally, we slide up with the middle finger to 15 on the B string. It's kind of like a D minor triad. It actually is a D minor triad. We're playing 15, and then we're playing 13, hammer on to 17, pull off to 13. And we're just repeating this, so. We're playing 15 on the B string, so. We end on 15 on the B string. So that lick should sound like. Is that four times? Okay, and that's it. That's all the licks. Um, it's not too tough. This isn't bad, but it's such a fantastically melodic little piece and actually I had never learned it note for note so it was cool for me to go and learn it um, again so let me play it for you one more time the whole thing I'll kind of go medium speed and uh, we'll do that so here we go Time. I'll play it slow this time. Okay. 
Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I've got a bunch of stuff planned. That's part of how I'm using my downtime. Uh, more time in the studio than usual here. So I'm making more videos, pumping out more content. I'm trying to make it really cool uh, stuff that's unique, but still kind of fits right in with what I love and what I, what I believe that the folks that watch me love also, or else you wouldn't be watching. And so, uh, you know, I love bands like Sabotage and Chris Oliva, totally underrated, they don't get their due, you know, and I love all the bands that kind of came out, Queensryche and um, TNT, and, and even kind of more obscure bands like XYZ, and they kind of all came on the tails of the Dokken, and the rats and bands like that, Ozzy and all that, which I love too. So I'm going to be doing some more content like that coming up here. Anyways, I hope you guys are staying safe. Wash your hands. Uh, look out for each other, even if it's from a distance. And uh, I will be back at you real quick with another video soon. Again, make sure and check out that sweet picking course and the tab for this video in the description below. I'll see you next time. Rock on.